Nazareth means also to be in the largest city within the Arab community and with the highest population of uh, academic graduates. Definitely the name of Nazareth is uh, impressive, uh, is known. I'm not trying to change the image. It's, uh, if it happens uh, to, to the better, then I will be very happy about it. I want to show that business is viable here in Nazareth exactly the same way as in other places in this country. My name is Inas Said. I come from an Arab village here in Israel. About two and a half years ago, I started entertaining the idea of building an outsourcing company that is tailored towards uh, employment of uh, Arab engineers or Arab academics. Israel's robust economy, fueled by a generation of high-tech entrepreneurs, has earned this country the moniker Startup Nation. 30% of Israeli exports are high-tech, and they account for a quarter of the country's GDP. But thousands of Israeli Arab high-tech engineers were left out. They say it's because they were missing a major component in their resume, mandatory military service where trust and links were forged. Now there is this mentality, okay, of uh, um, friend brings a friend, okay, network serving in the same unit in the army. We are not part of that. Some Arab engineers took to hiding their identities to try to get a job. Issa Assad sent out over 3,000 emails but couldn't get in the door. I would go to interviews and pass all the stages, but I never got accepted. In the end, I started putting down my address in Tel Aviv and not my village, almost hiding that I was an Arab, really. Galil Software gives Arab engineers a chance. They provide R&D and quality assurance services to multinational companies based in Israel at a cheaper rate since salaries and operating costs are lower in the periphery. Salim Abu Rajeb spent years earning her degree but wound up frustrated when she could only get a job as a bank teller. When you work out of your profession, you feel as if you wasted all those years of study. So here, I got a great opportunity. Team manager Shadi Musa did manage to have a career in Israel's high-tech world, but he joined Galil Software from the beginning. Arab world, uh, engineers have a special uh, personalities as the background they came from. And they are very dedicated, uh, very loyal to their workplace, and they do their job very, very well. Being in the Galil, it's very important. It's the first uh, chance we give to uh, Arab engineers who find it very difficult to be accepted in other uh, uh, high-tech companies in Israel. It also keeps billions of dollars in the Israeli economy by not outsourcing these jobs to China or India. We work with the largest Israeli high-tech companies. We employ 125 engineers. Basically, we prove that these engineers are just at the same level as engineers sitting in Tel Aviv, Ranan, and other places. Galilee Software is not just another company bringing jobs to the periphery. It is trying to create a social change by bringing high-tech opportunities to the Arab engineers. We are creating the, the uh, next uh, middle class within the Arab community. We are creating the next uh, big chunk of uh, taxpayers, right? And we are creating a better society altogether, having high-tech in the uh, Nazareth area uh, means uh, also connecting the communities together. Although I am a dreamer and uh, an optimist, uh, I think we still have to work very hard to get there. From the Galilee town of Nazareth, this is Arieh O'Sullivan reporting for the Media Line.